All right, let's do another vlog. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on here today. I'm gonna get myself in trouble on a Sunday. I'm going to the garage. Uh, I gotta edit. I've got a, I don't have to do, but I'd like to start doing some little bit of organization and uh, of some of the cabinet stuff that I've been putting off for a while. Uh, I've got to go to Home Depot. Uh, I've got to get some parts. I'll show you what i got to fix here today. Uh, Rag Company boys are in town. Rennie Doyle's coming up with them. Uh, just to hang out at, and the, oh, the PNS guys to hang out at OGHQ. So I'll bring you along here. But I've got to swap some towels. So I washed these last night. The way that I do this, I throw them in. We're gonna put this Speed Queen on delicate, and then I do dry but low heat. So then we take the Micro Restore, I squeeze in 30-ish, 30 40-ish milliliters, dump it in, and I'm gonna separate that out. Can't wash yellow and red together. Since this is a really small load, do this small, but the way I set it up is I go heavy duty, then go small load, cold, heavy soil level, and I do a second rinse. That works really well with the towels, and then you dry on delicate, bring it to completely dry. Apparently, I had a lot more towels, so I'll just drop those in from the from outside. I've got a Michelle's got some folding to do. I just threw this, but I got some new lights for the home theater. Maybe we'll talk about this this afternoon. I got some plans for the home theater updates. This guy does a good job protecting, but he also is annoying as crap. Little fatster. Hungry all the time. Let's feed you, bro. Gotta fix this back here. Yeah, looks like one inch pipe. So I've got a, this is where the the water softener shoots the backwash out. Now my AC lines are right under here, so I can't keep having salt water. Let me take this with me. So I've got to run the line out a little further that way. So we'll get some. All right, so i got some plans for this in here. I've got new cabinets coming on the next shipment. And then I'm going to go to some cool looking version of Butcher Block and then do a single length without any seams. So I may change the lowers as well. I'm not sure yet. I kind of like the look of how this is set up, but I'd like to have more drawers. I guess it depends on when I build a garage, but uh, I'm gonna be doing new uppers, changing the backsplash, or actually doing a backsplash. Uh, I'm gonna change out the fixtures in here to put my four bulb fixtures in. You know, I noticed these are eight bulb fixtures that I've taken most of the lights out. It's just it was too bright. And then paint the place, fix the baseboards, you know, and just kind of get it all, all revamped. At the same time, I'm probably gonna do some sort of compressed air out here. And then I'd like to do the Mosmatic drying system as well. So we'll be doing a little revamp out in uh, the wash bay here. And I might be doing a new, a new version of uh, a deionizer out here, so I might re redo this, this setup. So we'll see, something to play with in the future. And, you know, maybe I'll do that this summer. On you, man, these blowers are awesome. Ego 530, I've called them. I think that, uh, I think that we're, I hope that we're good to go should hear from them this week about becoming a dealer. This is the 530 model. They're discontinuing the 575, so there's a 580. So I think the way to go is you know a couple of batteries, I have a battery there, battery there, and I just cycle them. And that's the way to go. It makes rather expensive option for drying, but much, I think much, much more user friendly versus doing something like the you know, the master blaster or something with a cord. Uh, these do these do a great job. I right, just cut off a little piece of the pipe, so I'll have it for later when I need it. I'll take these cutters with me because I'm gonna drive the M3 in case I need to cut the pipe shorter that I buy. The front lip looks amazing. Let's hope it stays put. If it stays put, we're good to go because I think it looks great. 
that's exactly what I wanted. I like that subtle setup. <laughs> Anybody who says it doesn't look good is an idiot. You're crazy. Uh, I mean, this is how lips go. Like, no one makes them that are molded into the, into the thing. So, the front of this car looks amazing. It's just, now, now this starts to bring into reality what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. I'm going to do the lights. So we'll black out all this chrome in here and change this and just do, I don't like any of the weird DTM style goofy angular headlights. There's nothing square on this car so it makes absolutely no sense to do anything angled. You just change the circles to actual LEDs so they don't look washed out. But I can't wait for the wheels to get here. This car just looks sick. I think uh, I think a Dynan Stroker is in the future for this thing instead of supercharged. So here's the setup. You know, I typically come in and then I just plug in these three little wires here real quickly on my MacBook Pro. And then I have my editing station set up. So I'm gonna bring the Pro, MacBook Pro from my house to here. All right, so I need to grab the footage from yesterday's video. And we'll uh, load up Mac, uh, load up the MacBook Pro with uh, you know Final Cut. So there's Final Cut Pro, and then I've got a nifty little SD card reader on my dock. This is a Promise Pegasus Thunderbolt 3 dock, and then then we do all of the footage. will go on a Promise Pegasus, and then I upload it to the Google Cloud. So on weekends, I usually end up editing videos if Bryce and I don't get enough done during the week. So I'll capture as much footage as possible whenever I'm doing stuff and then do the, the editing myself. The cool thing about Obsessed Garage is we always have somebody showing up with something cool. This is Mexico or Riviera? Mexico. Yeah, Mexico blue. Oh, we got to get those nibs off those tires. Come on, man. <laughs> those are the new Cup 2s. I, I'd like to put the new Cup 2s on mine. All right, company boy showed up and giving a little tour. This place seems so big until I give a tour and then I realize it's not, not so much. Anthony over there. <laughs> so, this is what it's all about. Getting people together. Rennie's here. Dane. Guys from uh, PNS are here. <coughs> Just hanging out, showing them all the stuff. Okay, we're gonna go wake Anthony up, and we're gonna do a um, Maddie tutorial on IK foamers. This ought to be fun. And we're, so we're gonna fix uh, fix my dilutions and all this business while I uh, kick and scream like a little baby and hopefully uh, we figure it out. So we're gonna go do that. Okay, so we're here at uh, HQ. We're gonna shoot a video of me, I mentioned earlier about me uh, fixing uh, fixing my process with the IK foamers. We're gonna do it on the RS here since the RS is dirty. All right, well, the guys just left. Uh, we watched a movie, hung out, shot some video. Kate's yelling at us, I'm watching some football. It's the life of a uh, car guy. Uh, I also figured out that the water, I also figured out that the water spots came back on the M3. Oh boy. Uh, I was talking to Andy Ward, Proficient X, about what to do. I'm trying to uh, goad him into uh, coming up and doing the car. I might just pay him to do it. Oh, but I, I think, um, you know, the, what I used, the, the wool and Jess car just heated it up too much. So the paint swelled and then the water spots went away and then after the paint, you know, came back after about a week, you know, the paint swell went down and all the water spots came back. It seemed like tenfold. So, oh boy, the M3 is going to have to get... Yeah, he thinks uh, 101 and uh, I'm going to get a temperature gauge and a depth gauge, so this will be good. You know, I think it's about time I buy a darn depth, paint depth gauge just to see how much paint I'm removing. I just never thought I'd have to do this this soon. The car looks great and now I'm going to have to compound it again. Uh, but we're going to do M101 likely is what we're going to have to do. So anyway, I'm going to fold some towels. I'm uploading the footage from yesterday that I started this morning. 
Uh, I brought it home instead. I thought I could get the video done, but I got on a big organization project before Rennie and Levi and all the guys from Greg Company and, everyone, and uh, Bob Phillips, everybody got there at the garage, so now I've got to try to edit tonight and get the video, see if I can get it up tonight. I guess it doesn't really matter, but it's smart to get things on YouTube often. It just helps the channel, so I'm going to work on that. What? <laughs> You want a YouTube channel, you won't even be on camera. She's like grandma. Get that out of my you face. You messed it up, Shelly. She didn't want that cut. She had a plan. And you did not know that left-handed scissors are different than right haircut. Ah. All right, so we'll continue the vlog from a couple of days ago. And I'll carry the camera around today and take you, with, take you along with what I'm doing. Uh, when the rag company was here the other day, we were looking at the car and you can't see it on camera if i were to get the lights out and be able to show you there's water spots all down the side all on the roof all on the hood yeah so the good news is i get to do lots of video sharing with you how i'm going to fix that the bad news is uh I'm going to lose 20 hours of my life, or more, trying to fix it. So, I'm going to get a Del Fesco Positector 200 B3 Advanced. Apparently, i got to get a new bubble, too, because it keeps leaking air. I'm going to get a Fluke uh, infrared camera. Sorry, it's like 50 degrees. We're freezing here in Florida. 51 degrees. I was a little bit more distraught this weekend when we were when we were looking at it, when the, I realized that the water spots came back after compounding the whole thing. You know, and that's the risk that, you know, water spots, you know, if you heat up the panel too much, then, you know, the paint swells and the, and the etching disappears. And then when it, when the paint goes back to normal, they reappear. So I'm going to have to manage heat and either compound or hopefully not sand, but we're going to have to do a lot more aggressive, uh, correcting or I guess, uh, a technique to remove the, the water spot. So I'm headed over to the garage now. Sweet, I got uh, Twin Bush now has ramps rather than my the ones that Mike made for me. We'll see how these work, but I just got these here today. So I think these ramps will be a bit more finished looking. Now I was gonna go and powder coat those, but just for, I mean, I, to have those fabricated would be pretty difficult and really wouldn't make a lot of sense if this exists. So we're gonna pull this off and take a look at it, but first I'm gonna replace my wiper blades on the uh, on the 1M. And then next up I we gotta do all the maintenance to this thing. So I got some some blades. I bought I got these with my TPMS and then the wheels uh, wheels ship separately so they should be here today. Alright leave it to a second company so ECS tuning and I ordered some wiper blades and OEM BMW wiper blades for the, the E92 M3, and they didn't fit. So now I order OEM BMW wiper blades from Turner Motorsports, and they don't fit. It's another $30, $40 pair of wiper blades, freaking worthless. It's not worth, worth my time to send it back. All right, Shells, here's your pressure washer. You need to test this on the pool deck. Take this home, get this out of here. Yeah. We're gonna use the crappy hose and everything. Maybe we'll upgrade it. But this is what you get to clean the. I expect no algae or weeds oh, on the pool deck. Are you gonna show me how to use it? Let's plug it in. Good mm -hmm. to go. Where's the part? No, we need an inlet hose. What Shoot, about this? we don't have any. <laughs> Take it home anyway. I'll bring the rest in a few We're months. Back ordered. I'm gonna email you every day. Actually, you would probably want to hook it up to the garden hose that we'll set up there. I'm excited. Is this like the junky one or a nice one? This is the nicest of the junk. This is the cream you of the crap. Like a really good one. I think you're yeah, gonna give me one you couldn't sell. sell. This is the <laughs> cream of the crap. Thanks. It's my Christmas present. Get. On off. I even got a foot pedal. Oh boy. Is this the one you get for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. Ooh, I got two hose nozzles. So this will be the the torture test. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll put this to the test and see if it can okay. last, Michelle. Then she's an axe murderer of drawers and uh, and machinery. So this will be good. This will be our torture test. You let Michelle use it. 
and we'll see. We'll probably do a new oh, gun. Disconnects? Oh my gosh. So these are pretty interesting. This would be a garden hose type fitting from Prevost, where depending on which one you have, let's see if this one is a sealing one, this one isn't. But I, I do have some others that are a sealing quick disconnect. So what, you can leave the water on, disconnect it, and uh, you know, so pop it off. So this would be something we could use for like a deionizer, where you can leave it sealed, pop this thing on, you know, to pop the, the, the cup loose, and, you know, and then the water that has a valve that, that shuts. Or not a valve, but a, you know, they're a, I don't know how to explain it, you know what I'm saying. So, interesting type of connection. Here's our ramp set up. So they're gonna be three quarters of an inch shorter than the others, but that'll be fine. But it'd be a lot easier to hit it and that they're the exact width of the lift. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with this today, but let me get the car out of here since it doesn't need to be in here. All right, so obviously this is gonna go in the center there, but I think this is gonna work out pretty well. It's gonna look more original the way it's supposed to look. All right, this is a monumental day. We're taking photos for Facebook. Get rid of the Sun Joes. This will be a, a good day when these all leave. So we gotta box them and ship them. So you people buy them. We have the 3001. 4,000, 4,001, the 3,000 max, 3,501, the 3,500. These two are going to be my dissection subjects. So the stupid Joe and the 3,000 are going to get torn apart, see what's inside them, what makes them work. We'll make a video on that. But please, please buy these. I want them out of here. All right, sweet. Got my monoball. Assemblies replaces the joint, the ball joint at the uh, lower control arms, I believe it is. On the three. Nice. Katie, but where are you guys going? You haven't made it in the vlog yet today. You get some, you get some ice chips. You know, feeling sad. Right. What are you going to do? You going to try out for this team? Yeah. Are you going to make it? No. You're not good enough? You're too no, slow? I just, no, I just, I know I'm gonna be the best kicker for sure. <laughs> <laughs> these look like junk though. I, I, I these are J-Box mountable lights, but I wanted to it move to a 3000 Kelvin so it's not so darn yellow in the home theater. Are those things like that? Yeah, it's similar to the ones that are up there, but those are very different. Those are Cree, but I can't do Cree in the home theater because they don't make a J-Box mountable. Like these are just the surface mount type. So hopefully they're better than what I got on there, the Home Depot ones. These were uh, pretty expensive. I think they were like, I don't know, I think they were almost 20 bucks a piece, something like that, 30 bucks a piece. So hopefully they're decent. All right, I'm gonna wrap up my uh, multi-day, rather odd, uh, erratic vlog of me just kind of running around doing stuff. So it's actually a Sunday, Tuesday, I skipped Monday uh, vlog, but man, I'm living in some bizarro dreamland where I have an E92 M3 that's gonna be super legit. Look at how awesome the front lip looks. It's holding on, holding steady. I think we're good. So all that complaining for nothing. But we've got water spots that we've gotta deal with. So we'll work on those some other day. I don't know if you can see them. Seems like they, there, I can see it from here. See them? So the whole car is covered in that. I've got lots of car projects coming up here, so I'll be doing more vlogging and more uh, sharing. Make sure to start checking out the live streams. We're gonna do them on Thursday for now, so when this video comes out, we would have already done that, I think. And uh, yeah, more uh, 1M stuff. My wheels should be here, that they're supposed to be here today, but I think they'll be here tomorrow. So we'll go drop those off, get those done. Maybe I'll vlog that. Uh, I'm waiting for the HREs for the for the M3. But the biggest news of all, I got a hold of the BMW Performance seats. They should be here on Friday. So hopefully we'll be putting those in this weekend. I'll uh, obviously share that on the channel. So anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. You know, as always, stay tuned for more crazy. I'll uh, I'll keep uh, keep updating you on life and what's going on. Thanks for watching.
force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor, to the floor.